How good's that? I've been in this spot quite a few times and I have caught two from two goes really at this spot and yeah, I am so happy with that. Look at this. What a dewy. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. Today I am out on the Port Hacking River. Um, the plan is to firstly go get a couple of squid because in the last episode, previous episodes you've seen, I've been absolutely whacking the squid offshore here in Cronulla. So the plan is to go get as many squid as I can for about an hour and then go in the river, try for a king for a couple of hours and then if that all else fails, I might even head out to Mary's Reef and see if I can't get a flat at all too. So that's the plan, but as always, take it along for a ride. Here we go. And forgot, completely forgot. I've got to quickly check the pots. I've left them overnight. Um, I brought them out late yesterday afternoon, baited them up, and so I'm going to quickly check them this morning, put some more bait in, and then pick them up at the end of the session. Here we go. One. How good's that? Left the pot overnight. And got a big, probably what looks to be a that is a female. That is a big girl too. Sorry darling, I'm gonna have to put you back. And you're gonna be very happy about that. And I am not. That's okay. Very easy with these pots, the new ones that I've got. You can just shake them out, you don't even have to worry about trying to touch her. Just flip it over, give it a shake. She can let go. See you, darling. Have a good one. on the jig the cast and see which way we're drifting So we're at the squid spot. Jesus. All right, so I'm at the squid spot. We are, well, I am running a little orangey red jig. Yesterday I lost my favorite one, the little pink and yellow one. I lost that one, but the orange and red one did a really good job yesterday. So I'm just gonna figure out which way we're drifting. I'll just cast it out just to see 
roughly where we're drifting. I think we're drifting in the, the other direction that I casted it, but that's okay. So what we'd like to do is I've got a little eggy rod set up here. So it's a quick fire eggy, real cheap, a real cheap um, Shimano version. And I really love this rod. It's actually really good. It's nice and long, easy to cast the jigs out, but also to use lures as well for like bigger flathead and smaller kings. It's so good to use to throw around everywhere. So I'm very happy with this rod so far. Um, and then, yeah, when you cast it out, give it plenty of time to sink down all the way down to the bottom. Double twitch, plenty of time. Like I leave it for probably 20 seconds between each twitch. I fish it really, really slow. And uh, it gives the squid plenty of time to come along and give it a little whack. So here we go. No dice on the squid today. Alright, so no dice on the squid. Been here for about half an hour. Didn't get anything, so I'm going to go head in. I've, luckily, the squid I caught in the previous episode, which is yesterday for me, um, I've kept a few strips to use as the bait for the kings. Plus, I'm going to throw around the lures. So, here we go. Let's head back in and try for a king, hey? She said I won't be back in a while Don't wait Already packed her bags Called the cab Made space And she said I won't answer If you call me when you're lonely I guess I'll let her go Never mind It's too late But I can't believe I let you slip I think about it seven days a week And this just can't be Alright, so we've made it to the uh, Lily Pilly Bars the first spot I'm going to try for a king. What I'm going to do is just tie on a little uh, Seal Star slap stick. It's like a sluggo, exact same. On a 3 8 jig head, I've got, I think that's 25, 30 pound leader and 10 pound braid. So I'm going really light. A bit scary, but caught him before on that. So, And on the other rod, I've got a little squid strip running on my little snapper setup which is a bit heavier on the heavier setup. So let's hope we get one, hey? Just casting around underneath the boats with using the electric just to push me up into the current so I can get behind the back of the boats and everything like that. So here's to giving it a go. Perfect, ready to go. King just followed it up. Let's get the living daylights out of me too. have a king following my lure up I try to get him to react to it and bite it but he didn't want it so try again
All right, so I'm change spots. All right, so it's time to change spots. I've had that follow from that kingfish and there's a bit of bait around, but it's not really being pushed. They're sort of just swimming around having a bit of bit of fun. So only that one king follow here in Lily Pilly. So I'm gonna try another spot in the channel there. So hopefully we can get one through there, hey? Here we go. I've got a fish on it. Another Jewy. We've got another Jewy. My net's broken, so I'm going to have to use this little one and just get his head in there. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! Yeah, man. What a fish. What a fish. Down, isn't it? Oh, I don't know if he's going to survive. I'll try and get this hook out of him as quickly as I can. Yeah. Do you like that? can see where one of the hooks are. Okay, so the other one snapped off. It's kind of a good thing for him. Alright, let's swim in for a bit and then I'll show you guys. Alright, so I've got him in my little live bait well there, just sitting there, getting a bit of fresh oxygen. Hopefully, he can release well. I'm not confident. Quickly wet the brag mat and give him a measure. Eight and a half centimeters. Sixty eight centimeter chewy. 
How good's that? I've been in this spot quite a few times and I have caught two from two goes really at this spot and yeah, I am so happy with that. Look at this. What a dewy. How good. All right, so I'm gonna release him, try and release him and get him going. Um, but if he doesn't, obviously I'll have to keep him. I don't want to keep him. I don't like keeping Jewfish. I want them to keep growing, keep spawning, and really get their um, stocks back. So, well done. I'm so happy with that. That's a big, big tick. Yoo! All right, so let's get him out. I've left him in there. That's got nice, fresh salt water going through. Let's have a look at how his mouth's looking. His gut's protruding quite a lot. So I don't know how they'll go. But let's try and release him, hey? Oh, there we go. Okay, okay. That's good. That's a good sign. Really good sign. Keep going, buddy. Keep biting. Just swimming him, just to make 100% sure he's ready to go. He's kicked a few times. All right. So I'll release this and grab him by the tail. You tell me when you're ready, mate. Come on, buddy. All right, ready? And try and give him a big dunk. And he's kicked off. Yes! What a fish! Oh, man. It just pays to take, well not to take your time, but to look after the fish as best as you can. Put him in the light bait tank, I swam him out in the water, I spent a lot of time trying to release him. Um, and because purely, I don't really like keeping two fish. The stocks of them are really, really low. You're better off releasing them, letting them breed, letting them try and replenish the stocks. And then maybe 10, 20 years time, you just never know. There could be heaps of them. So. Released him, he went off really, really well, swam off really, really well, so very, very happy about that, so, you. So, before I drop it back in, I thought I'd quickly show you what I'm doing. I've got a two-hook two hook snail rig, one facing that way, one facing the other, so they're facing opposite directions. I've half-hitched the top so then it's cinched and it holds there, so it doesn't waft around or get tangled or anything like that. So that's the setup. I'll just push that out just a little bit so it just sits nicely and then I've got 20 pound leader up to a swivel so up to a little swivel here with a nice big ball sinker what I'm doing is I'm dropping it all the way down to the bottom winding it up four or five times and then casting it so yeah and it's worked twice now right on the tide change so pretty happy with that Let's go try and get another one, hey? Or even a king, one of the two. All right, so that Dewey was the only one that I caught on this drift. And plus I've run out of squid. I've had, I had three pieces of squid strips. That's sort of why I wanted to go get a couple of squid this morning and failed to do it, but that's okay. So one got beaten, well, one got eaten by the Dewey. And then the other two were bit, one was snagged and the other one got bitten off by something. Um, and then, yeah, 
I tried to use the last one just then, the the old Dewey, the one that the Dewey just ate. And that was just snagged up again. So that's it for the for those. I don't know what I'll do. I might I might go ahead and try for a flathead now. It's about what is it, 9.30? I'll just see. I might just try one more time in Lily Pilly for a kingy and see how we go. Just a quick little drift through there. But yeah, here we go. I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do. But honestly, I can't remember if you love me. Or maybe I'm just 